Hey, and welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, recently, or a while back, I had created a video on how to make an infinite animation out of a motion capture. And the main question I got was, when can you stop it? The fact that it's an infinite animation is the whole point of the video. Um, it's to keep going forever and ever and ever. But today, what we're going to show you is how to extend an animation uh, to a certain point so you can change to a different animation at some point or whatever you want to do. Uh, so this is just a way to continue an animation but only to a certain point. If you want to see my infinite animation video, you can click the link here and go and have a look at it and see what you think. Anyway, let's get started on today's video uh, where I'm going to extend an animation but only for a finite amount of time. First thing we got to do is get rid of all the uh, blender junk and import our FBX. I'm getting mine from Mixamo, which is a great resource. I'm uh, just going to use a typical running thing. So what we got here is we got our guy and he runs about three steps and then uh, he's a done deal. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to add a marker, cube, whatever, and we're going to place it where he stops, just for reference. So what we need to do now is take all, we make sure he's selected, grab all his uh, animation keys by selecting A. Control C to copy, move to the one frame after the animation, and hit Control V to paste. Or you can of course go up here to edit, copy, edit, paste, or file, copy, or whatever it is. And so we're going to do it a couple of times, we're going to paste it a couple of times. And we'll see uh, what we can do here. All right. Okay, so we got uh, we got him uh, extended, but of course, you know, as you can see, he's just running the same thing over and over again. Now here comes the fun parts. Using A, so you can select all your keyframes, go to your graph editor. If I can get there. There we go. Now the main focus on the graph editor is going to be these this blue line and the keys that are associated with this with this Z axis or this axis, whatever it is. Um, if you want, and I like to do this, if you can grab the side sliders here and you can squish things down and make them more visible. Uh, just makes things easier to select and grab and look at. Now, now that you can see everything, what we want is just to grab one key, hit L, and that will select them all. And that's just got this one line. So you can move it and do whatever you want with it. So now we use control and deselect the first keys. Once that's deselected, everything else is selected, just that first bit is not selected. Hit G to move it and just move it up to the top. So you, you kind of want to have the same distance between, between keys. You can scroll in, scroll out, so you can zoom a little bit better. You just want to make it as perfect as possible. It just makes the animation flow easier. So now when we hit the, uh, hit the space bar, he's got twice the amount of uh, distance. Shift D to copy that. Put it there. Make sure he's selected. Deselect the first bar again. Hit G, move your guy up. And you see, uh, you can see him moving as we go. Do it again, just deselect, hit G, move him up, and now he's extended even further. And now you have your extended animation. Uh, you, of course, can do it as much as you want, but this will just get him going a little bit further than he was. Let's start it all over again, just to make sure. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. I know I don't have a lot of subscribers, so it'd be really nice to uh, get a few. 
So please feel free to like and subscribe and uh, ring the bell and uh, you get notifications anytime I post anything. As you can see from my channel, it's pretty diverse. I'm a creative person, so lots of different things are happening all, all the time. So let's do this one more time. We're going to import an FBX. And let's use something different. We'll use fast run here. Oh, it's just a, it's just a skeleton. Okay, so it's just a skeleton, but it still works. Just the bones. So you got him. We gotta go back to our timeline. Select all the keyframes. Hit copy. Paste. 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 Hit A, go back to the graph editor, and oh, there he is. Lost it for a minute. And we just want to grab this one, so select one or two frames, hit L, and deselect the first G. Control G Control and G. You can see how quick and simple that was. It it takes no effort whatsoever. Um, once you can, you're, you're able to see it. But it, using these sliders on the side here, that'll help you out. So you can really take a look at what you're doing. And now you just check our dude, and he's running like crazy. And that's what we want. So I hope it was informative. I hope it gives you something uh, to work with. And I hope uh, to see you again. Thanks very much.